Welcome back to another episode of the Say It Out Loud podcast. I am your host, Vasavi Kumar. This is a solo cast, which means it's just me. And it's going to be a short episode because what I have to say, I think, uh, does not need to be extended. It's, uh, it's, it, it's, it's pretty simple. Here's what I want to start off by saying. I want you to be okay with not being the person that you used to be. I want you to be okay with outgrowing, outgrowing everyone in your life, including your family, including your partner. Be okay with walking in a new light, in a new fashion, in a new way that you've never walked before, right? If you've been doing the damn thing, you've been working out, you've been taking care of yourself, you've been setting those boundaries, you know, you've been going to sleep at a reasonable hour, you're like done hanging out on your phone, you're just like done having like mindless, exhausting conversations, you're able to set those boundaries, you're learning how to regulate your emotions, you're managing your energy, you're just, you've just been doing all the things to get yourself to a to a place internally where you feel really safe and secure within. I'm so proud of you. That shit is not easy. It is not easy to become the person that you want to be. Okay. I don't care what anybody says, because in the process of you becoming the person that you know you can be and the person that you want to be, there are people around you that will struggle with being with the new you. Okay, they will struggle with relating to you in this new way because in order for them to accept that you have changed, it is a reminder to them that they have not. Okay, and because of that, I don't want you to continue to live in your chapter five when you're on chapter 15, right? I've had people in my life, uh, even in my own family and partners that I've dated who have time and time again, brought up my past. And I'm like, listen, I'm no longer that person. Stop bringing up my past. I am no longer there anymore, okay? So I want you to be okay with not being the person that you used to be. Be okay with being this new version of yourself because all you're doing is stopping and starting and stopping and starting and you're just fragmented, right? Because think about it. You're one way with your colleagues, you're one way with your new group of friends or with your workout buddies or you're one way with your clients, you're one way with yourself, right? And then when you get back home to your family or maybe former friends, you become this person that you're like, I'm just, I'm not this person anymore, right? And so oftentimes the most difficult conversation that we avoid is the one that sounds like this. Listen, I know you're used to me being a certain way and I get that but I've worked a lot on who I am as a person and I'm just not that person anymore. So please stop relating to me in that way because I, I'm not it anymore. I'm not that person anymore. And it's, and it's, it's rude. It's rude to do that, right? Like when someone is, someone has, is actively working on becoming a better version of themselves and the people in your life keep trying to drag you down because you're a constant reminder of what they're not doing in their lives, right? In the, I just came up with this, I just thought of this as a, as a metaphor, but it's like, it's like when a baby is crawling and then it learns to walk, it's like telling the baby, why are you walking? Go back to crawling. Why would you do that? You would never do that. It's the same thing, right? If I see someone is growing and working on themselves and they're doing the damn thing, why ever would I be like, well, I don't like this new version of you, right? The only time a person would not like this new version of you is because it would have to force them to look in the mirror and see that they have been exactly the same and they have not grown and they have not evolved. But just because somebody is going through the motions of realizing that they have not grown and they're not really as committed to themselves as you are does not mean that you have to regress. Okay, so one of the things that I just announced to everybody, if you're on my email list and if you've been listening to my podcast, I just shared this on August 14th. I'm opening up, I think, 11 spots on my calendar for uh, a Say It Out Loud confessional. And this is a 45 minute session with me. It's $350 and you'll walk away with, um, there's some, there'll be some pre-work. There'll be a form that you fill out so I can get clued in on what's going on in your life. But you will walk away with having a role play with me and a script so you know exactly what you want to say to the people in your life who are just not willing to have, to see you differently. Right? Sometimes the most difficult conversation that you need to have is the one that's like, listen, like I said before, right? 
I'm just not this person anymore. Stop treating me like the former version of myself. You're the one still living in the past, right? I want you to be proud of how far you have come, how dedicated you've become, how consistent you've become, how you've worked so much on your habits, your mindset, the way you treat yourself, the way you talk to yourself, the way you tend to yourself, right? You are, you are growing and you are evolving and fuck anybody. Let me say that again. Fuck anybody who doesn't accept this new version of you. They need to go. They gots to go. Those people need to leave your life. And I get it. There are situations in our life where we cannot just cut people out of our life, right? I'm not going to just cut my mother out of my life. I'm not going to just cut my father out of my life. I'm not going to just cut people out of my life. I'm not going to do that. But what I can do is address it and nip it in the bud and say, listen, please stop talking to me that way. Please stop referring to me in that way. I have grown beyond that. I am not there anymore. If you would like to continue to be in my life, I need you to stop relating to me, relating to my chapter five. I'm not in chapter five anymore. We've skipped ahead a few chapters. I think you kind of missed the memo. Of course, you don't have to say it like that. But you know what I'm saying, right? Like we just, you got to allow yourself to be the person that you're becoming and be okay with growing and accept that you are, you have changed. You got to accept that you've changed and you got to own it. And let's just say you're like, Vasavi, no, I'm like, I've really owned who I am, but the people in my life, it's just really hard for them. Well, then maybe it's time you sit down and you have that difficult conversation with them. Whether it's with your partner, you got to renegotiate with your partner and be like, listen, honey, I know when we got married, you thought that I was going to stay home and do all the things and raise all the kids. But you know what? I have dreams. I have goals. I'm not trying to like, you know, I, I, we need to renegotiate how we show up in this relationship or renegotiate with your family members, renegotiate with friends of yours if they want to stay in your life right? If people want to stay in your life, you get to call the shots. Stop allowing other people to drag you down when you've worked so damn hard on becoming the person that you're becoming, right? It's time for you to have that difficult conversation. I know it's not easy. I'm not even going to act like it's easy, right? Because we're talking about family. We're talking about blood. We're talking about love. We're talking about people that you've known for years. And I know that it can feel really scary to have that conversation, but the impact that it's having on you is that it keeps dragging you back. You keep moving forward and you keep falling back. You keep moving forward and you keep falling back. Don't blame anybody. It's no point blaming anybody. You got to set the tone and standard for how you want to be treated. This is the new you. This is the new you. Welcome to the new you, right? And the new you sets those boundaries. The new you sets the tone and standard for how they would like to be treated. You do not talk to me that way. Do not refer to me my chapter five, when I'm on chapter 15, I don't know where I got those numbers from, but you know, they just came out of me, whatever. So I want to say this to anyone watching this, listening to this right now, maybe you need to have that conversation. Maybe it's time for you to really sit down and have that conversation with your partner, with your spouse, with your kids, with your friends, with your colleagues, with your clients. Like, listen, I'm just, you know, th this is what it is, right? Maybe you're raising your rates. Maybe you got to let a team member go. Maybe you're going in a different direction. Maybe it's time for you to let go of that client. Maybe the friends that you're hanging out with, they're just, they're just up to shit that you don't want to do anymore. You don't have to keep hanging out with people that you don't want to hang out with you. Allow yourself to be the new you. Allow yourself to grow. You've been working so hard on yourself and it hasn't been easy. Only you know this. You know what it's been like every day. Waking up, doing the damn thing, taking care of yourself doing the meditation, doing the journal, working with the coaches. You've been investing so much time and energy into who you are. Stop letting your emotions get in the way of you setting that boundary, right? Because I know we love our family members. We love our partner. We, we our partners. We love the people in our life. And we don't want to say like, hey, I'm just not that person anymore. Say it. I'm just not that person anymore. Here's what you can expect from me moving forward. Okay. Like I said, simple, not easy. It's not easy to have this conversation, but the more you avoid this conversation, the more you will continue to live in your chapter five when you've been trying your hardest to keep moving forward. Chapter 15, chapter 16. I get it. It's like a, it's like a stop and a start and a stop and a start and it's exhausting. And every single time, every single time you do the stop and the start, it gets harder to get back up. It get, you get more exhausted. You get whittled down just a little bit more. I want consistency for you. I want you to really feel that sense of safety and security within yourself, especially when it comes to having those difficult conversations with people.
okay? So be okay with not being the person that you used to be. You are no longer that person. You are now moving forward. It's time to set the tone and the standard for everyone in your life, starting with yourself, starting with having that difficult conversation that you know you've been avoiding. So if this resonated with you, please click below to book your Say It Out Loud confessional with me. I have 11 spots open for this Sunday, August 14th. I cannot wait to talk to you.